Hey everyone, this is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions, and I am bringing you guys today your first floral boutique suite class or video. And the whole point of this entire series of videos that I'm doing with the floral boutique suite is to showcase the papers, the stamps, and the different items that are inside of it, the washi tape, things like that, and some really fun, exciting ways to use it. Um, I will primarily be focusing on Obviously, the paper, <laughs> the Floral Boutique uh, Designer Series Paper, or DSP, the um, Knight of Navy Baker's Twine, and uh, the Washi Tape. And primary colors I'm going to use this year are Knight of Navy and Whisper White, since that's actually what's in the paper. So today I brought you guys a small little box. I don't know if you guys can see, you know. So this box is two inches wide, two inches wide, one inch deep, and about three and three quarters inches tall. And I actually had a customer of mine who happens to be a perfectly posh consultant ask me to make a box that would fit two of perfectly posh's essential oil sticks. And these are actually the two that I own personally. Um, they're awesome, they're amazing. This is the healer stick, so like you guys can see a cut right here that I have put that on. It's for minor cuts um, and skin abrasions and things like that and it works amazing. Um, this is our sleepy sleepy stick which smells a little bit like lavender and it, it's it's heaven. I gotta tell you that much. I'm not a huge essential oil person but these these are really good. Um, I also love perfectly posh products in general so if you guys would like um, access to or you guys would like me to send you a link to a perfectly posh consultant, my perfectly posh consultant, please send me an email. See the email address in the description bar below, or if you guys can also see in the description bar below, there is a link to my website, which A, has my email attached to it, and B, has the directions and all the supplies that you need to make this really cute little box. So, you know what? I say we get started. So don't worry about writing down any measurements or anything like that. Again, find uh, the link in the description bar below. It'll take you directly to the project. So today we're going to be needing a piece of designer series paper. I'm using the Floral Boutique, and it's 4 inches wide by 10 and a half inches long. We are also going to be needing a piece of scrap Knight of Navy cardstock and or scrap Whisper White, depending on how you guys want to do it. As you can see here on the first, on my first project, my flower is Knight of Navy. Um, I'm actually going to do a combo of Whisper White and Knight of Navy this time. Um, I used about six inches of the Knight of Navy Baker's Twine, uh, the Whisper White Thick Baker's Twine, as well as the Gold Sequin Trim. And I just like that as a little bit of an accent piece. We're also going to be using the Blossom Bunch Punch. That's to get the flower, as well as some pearls, which I apparently have not brought out with me. So hang on one second. Let me reach back here and grab my pearls. Where'd they go? Oh, those aren't pearls. You know what? We're going to use jewels. It's okay. We're going to use a jewel because they're awesome. So our basic rhinestone jewels also work besides our pearls. See if I can talk. All right, so let's get started, guys. I'm gonna scoot everything else out of the way here. Wee! Everything out of the way. I'm gonna bring in our scoring board. If I jostle the camera stand, I'm so sorry. All right, so on our four inch side, all the way up the top, you're gonna wanna take score it one inch all the way down. Sorry if it goes out of camera range. And again, one inch. All the, jump the track all the way down, and then on your little ten and a half inch side, it's ten and a half inches, guys, not eleven. You're gonna want to score at one, two, five and three quarters, and six and three quarters. So again, that is scoring at one inch on both sides of the four inch side. Score at one, two. Five and three quarters, six and three quarters, and you're done. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Now, 
For this box, it's a little bit important to actually burnish. So we're gonna pull in our bone folder here. Um, also, you might wanna pick a paper that is non-directional um, just to make your life a little bit easier. You know, this is my first example here. The flowers are flowing down on one side and flowing up on the other. I mean, that doesn't bother me because everything's at least going in the same direction. And there's no true up to that, but if it bothers you, make sure you guys are using a non-directional paper or make sure you guys are scoring on the right side. <laughs> um, obviously, I picked a non-directional paper this time. So, fold all of your score lines. We have two more here. All right, so now just like I'm, I'm gonna show you guys from this side so you guys can at least kind of sort of see where everything is going. The other side's a little bit harder. You guys see these like little triangles here in the score line? Little triangle, little triangle, score line, score line, both sides. Guess what, we're gonna cut up those score lines. So here we go. Let's go ahead and cut up. Sorry, I do not wanna get my head in the camera view, so if I don't cut 100% straight. So while I'm doing this, and also you want to taper your edges or your corners. So just come in here, get an angle, slight angle. You don't need a lot. Same thing on this side. Um, so anybody that purchases anything from Stampin' Up! with me in the month of June, so you got about 15 days, is going to be entered to win all of my examples from, we're going to cut... All right, oops. Sorry guys, don't do this last one. <laughs> Forgot my own directions here. Don't do your last one, just do. Actually, yes, you do wanna do, no, you don't. Sorry about that, that again. All right, so, sorry about that. So everybody who shops with me in the month of June is actually going to be entered to win all of my examples so that means like this one here as well as the one I'm making and I will be sending that to you um, so go ahead and check out my site Oop, that was not very straight it's okay, that's the back um, and it should be great so also if you guys have any questions you guys want me to answer for you can't see the line there it is okay uh, if you guys have any questions you guys would like me to answer for you um, go ahead and email those to me, and I will do my best to get back to you guys within about 48 hours. So you guys know those ones that you missed up here at the top? We're actually going to cut that direction. So we're going to cut down from that, from this end to the score line on both sides. And again, please taper. So, okay, apparently I can't cut and talk at the same time, so here we go again. So, again, a little bit here little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit here so push all that stuff out of the way get rid of my scissors we are completely done with all of our cutting okay I lied we're not quite done with all of our cutting so if you guys are doing this at home please use something like fast fuse or tear tape or something along those lines to put this together today I'm gonna use snail and that's so that I can actually take this apart and send this, send this to somebody flat because I don't want the box to get squooshed in the mail. Yep, that's right. Squooshed is a good word. Um, so basically, I'm going to attach everything with snail today. I'm going to take off the snail when I'm done with this and fold it flat for you guys. All right, so run some snail adhesive or some fast fuser tear tape, your adhesive choice, along those lines. Fold them up. Align your edge with your score line. Again, you're lining this edge here with the score line here. And stick down. So now here, I'm doing this for ease of use. So you guys are gonna see like this little thing here. Well, we're trying to make this winged area right here. And so if you pull it up, it's actually like a triangle. It's a lot harder to cut once the box is completely assembled. So I'm gonna try cutting it this time now. So we're gonna take our scissors. Be bold, be brave with your scissors, ladies and gents. 
And so you're going to pull all of this stuff out of your way. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut from this corner here to this corner here, or this corner here to this corner here. Um, so I kind of like line up my scissors and I try to do it all in one whack. So you wind up with like a little triangle piece when you're done. And same thing on this side. I'll fold that in. I'm going to line up that corner with that corner and snip it off. Just that simple. All right, push those things out of the way. They're useless now. So you're going to fold in these two small tabs down here. Add your adhesive. Again, I'm not adding a lot of adhesive due to the fact that I'm taking this apart, but please add, you know, maybe two small strips. So then you're going to take these tabs. So this part that has your lid on it is the back of the box. And you're going to want to fold these up here, your tabs, up into the sides that are attached to the back of your box. So I'm going to go from here. Turn it this way so you guys can see a little better. So again, we're taking this tab here and this cut there. Line it up, stick it down. Same thing on this edge. Line it up, preferably relatively straight, unlike me. Stick it down. And now you're gonna see that your box looks something like this. And we're gonna run adhesive here and here. And again, if you're using something else, you know, fast fuse or tear tape at home. Oh, my mom's snail. We're gonna grab our fuse. Just a little bit of fuse there. Now you're going to kind of fold this over, line up your corners and edges, let's back in the camera range here, line everything up, stick it all down, line everything up, preferably straight, see if I can see as I'm doing this. And then you have your box. So now if you're going to see that I've got a little bit here and a little bit here that doesn't quite work for me, I take my scissors and I'm going to trim that off. See if I can get to it this way. Go a little bit straighter. Okay. And this. I'll clean that up when we're done. Okay. And you just fold over your top, and there's your little box. So I'm actually going to take mine and I'm going to slide my essential oil sticks in. It's designed to fit two. Slide that one over. Slide that down. And then you've got a little box. So now for the end pieces here. You know, this paper is so dark. Nope, I'm still going to use some of the Night of Navy. So we're going to take our scrap Night of Navy, put that off to the side our Blossom Bunch Punch. Say that three times fast. So I'm actually gonna take the smaller two. I don't really care for the big one right now. I'm gonna, I really want this to smaller two. I'll line it up in there. Bunch! Oi, there we go. Woo. Close that up. And then I've already punched out a white flower for us. If I can get it, it's over here. So we're gonna take all the scraps. So now I'm gonna actually add some dimension. I'm gonna take my uh, piercing mat, stamping piercing mat, take all my flowers, put them on top and sit this somewhere so you guys can actually see it. I will fold this over. All right. We're gonna take the back of our paper piercer and stick it smack dab in the middle of the flower. It just gives the flower some dimension and if you guys are going, oh my God, that's too much. Give it a second, it'll chill. So now we're gonna grab a glue dot here. I'm gonna flip these two over. I grab a glue dot and I am just going to layer one inside the other. There's one. There's two. I'm gonna grab our rhinestones here and I kind of wanted this medium rhinestone, I think. Stick that right in the center. All right, so there's that all done. Grab your, slide your piercing mat out of your way. So you got your twine and your, your Whisper White, your Native Navy, and your sequin trim. 
And then I kind of grab it all together. Grab your sequin trim. So it kind of looks something like that. We're going to place. I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm actually going to place my glue dot on the cover. So I kind of want my flower to be like right about there. We're going to take all of our trim and our sequins and everything. We're going to stick it in that glue dot. So it's all nice and stuck down. Push, push, push. Make sure it's stuck. We're going to take our flower with one more glue dot. And we are going to make sure the glue dot gets stuck to your flower. And then we're going to add it right on top of that trim. So that now your box top looks like that and the front looks like that. Let's get everything else out of the way here. So isn't that cute? So if you guys wanted to, you can make your trim a little bit shorter. Again, this is about six inch trim here. So if you guys are need, would like to purchase any of the products in the Floral Boutique Suite, go ahead and down into the description bar below, click on the link and it'll take you to my shop. If you guys would like the instructions for this project, again, go ahead down below, click on the link, um, go to projects, and then underneath projects, it should say June 2016, and this project will be in there. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. This is Mel from Cardstock Concoctions. I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.